how to get out of Babylon. Um, just a quick uh, update recap. I did a 10 minute one and you know, it was too much, too long, so it burned, went away. Um, I'm just going to try to give a quick, just a to the point update, if I can. All right, it's going to be my fourth night here, third day looking for a place for Margot apartment, handicapped apartment, first ground, first floor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, have not found anything. I've tracked down every lead. I've gone to look at, I don't know how many places every day, all day long. Made phone calls. Drove today to one way outside, well, I'd say outside of town, not terribly far, but beautiful drive. But to do anything in town, it would be driving in every day. And it was not even anywhere near acceptable. Waste of time, basically. But the gal that lived there that told me about it, that worked at one of the hotels, a nice hotel, $125 room, uh, really loves it there and has lived there for three years. So, bleh. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I've got some funds in process of transfer. I have seven dollars between two cards. I don't have enough gas to go probably to get home or to go down to Margo, although sometime tomorrow I should get some transfer money. So I'm just throwing it out there in now or for what it's and now on our for what it's worth apartment, Paul Harvey type thing. Um, really appreciate, I mean, I really thank everybody for comments and, and just all the, uh, you know, interaction and stuff and, you know, it's, it's been an adventure. It's been a, a trailblazing pioneering effort because all you guys out there or families, if you want to move your family here, just come with enough money to get an apartment and get a job. I mean, there's, I, I'm going to check with Chamber of Commerce. There's probably, I'm just guessing ballpark 40,000 jobs. There could be a quarter of a million jobs. I don't know. Everything here is a business, you know, even the people that live in town or whatever are rich enough that they're they're supporting the whole economy in some way or another. So anyway, uh, that's been an eye opener. I love the uh, cleanness. The, the people are polite, you know, haven't heard a gunshot, haven't heard a siren, haven't seen a cop pull anybody over, have not seen an accident. I saw one bag of trash that fell out of somebody's car or somebody threw. I don't I think it was an accident. Um, anyway, a little bit of the Rockies, lots of cedar trees, so come wintertime it, it's still green. You'd have to be able to drive on steep. That would not be fun. <laughs> Ice or snow, I have no idea what they do. They must really hammer the place with salt. I would not, don't think I want to be here in the wintertime. And it's probably minimal in the wintertime. This is peak season. That's one guy said, you picked the wrong time of year to try to move here. You know, this is peak season, absolutely peak season. I said, I didn't pick it. I, I'm not the one that's wanting to move here, not the one that's wanting to, you know, to, to pick the time. It's just, that's what happened. So, anyway, need to get move along here. Um, I'm, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm, I've chased the leads and tried to do the, what I felt was, uh, you know, the right thing to do. Um. I mean, and I'm only, the only reason I'm here is because nobody else volunteered. Uh, there's a whole bunch of supposed, the whole northwestern Arkansas region is Christians, you know. And uh, I, so anyway, the people who had just recently moved there, you know, ha had had helped. They, I think some of them helped out a little bit, you know, Margot's end. So all I'm saying is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I money sometime tomorrow. The next day I'll transfer, but I'm just gonna have to go sit in a hotel and where I don't die from the heat, and I can't run my van all day long. Uh, <clears throat> so, and I don't have really gas to go anywhere anyway. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I, I just sounds like a sob story. Whatever. Don't. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. I'm alive. <laughs> Still alive and kicking as. You know, I said, I'm dead tired, and French said, don't say that. <laughs> they're calling me to find out if I'm still alive. So, anyway, um, still alive and kicking, and, and, you know, just not, I'm not discouraged, but, boy, I, I'm like, I don't know what to do. So, 
hopefully something will open up. I mean, it's something from a totally different angle or totally different region. I, you know, Branson is not, maybe it's not where Margot needs to be. Um, maybe somebody can open up, open up their house to her. I don't know. I called Rick Collier. I mean, he's had people stay in his house for months on end and whatever. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, he's got a thousand acres, owns about 20 farms. We'll bring her by and we'll talk. Okay. Got to have a van to get there and money to get there. So <laughs> it's a long, a long ways away. So that's about it. I need to cut this off so it doesn't get bollocked out or, you know, fizzed out or lose it. So this is Jerry Diamond. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, somebody actually for the first time in my entire life called me pastor. Although Jersey kind of thinks I'm a, some kind of a minister, but you know, whatever. All right. Anyway, it was nice to hear from somebody that didn't know me at all. <laughs> that's, that's the point. So I appreciate that. Um, thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Pray. You know, if you feel you can, if you can't, if you can afford to, and PayPal anything, dmnds2001 at yahoo.com. That's my email address. Delta Mike Sierra Delta. Uh, <laughs> Delta Mike November Delta Sierra 2001 at yahoo.com. PayPal, email, ask, ask me questions if you need. If you need help relocation, I know a lot of people are planning on getting here. Please do, sooner than later. I know you all know that. All right, I'll just be praying for you. You pray for me. If you can help, do. If not, don't. No big deal. All right, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.